clues that these are. Right, they're Amazing Race clues. Does anybody know how many versions of the Amazing Race there are? Three. You're almost right. Canada, the U.S., Australia, and Sunshine Hills Foursquare Church. For you today, I'm going to explain what the Sunshine Hills Foursquare Church version is, because I know you all have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm going to explain my role because I did play a very important, very crucial role in the organizing of the Sunshine Hills version. And there was one task in particular that we made the, ta the team members do that we know made quite an impact on the rest of the group and each person individually. So what is the Sunshine Hills version? Well, instead of going around the whole world for a month, it's a two-day journey across the Lower Mainland. <laughs> and what we had was we had four clues. We had a root marker, which was where to, how are we going to get there? A roadblock, okay, now that we're here, what do we do and who does it? A detour is the choice between two different roadblocks. And then we added in a traffic jam, which was one task that you had to complete between pit stops. It didn't matter when, it didn't matter how, you just had to come to the next pit stop with that task completed. Now, at the end of the Saturday night, what we did was we had a big barbecue at our friend's house. This was where we gave the first place trophy, the Team Spirit Award, and we handed out the prizes and had a big barbecue, lots of food. Now, we had to buy the prizes. We had to buy all the food for the barbecue. And that was just a small part of what we as an organizing committee actually had to do. Our responsibilities were we had to find an overnight location, we had to pick tasks, we had to find places to do those tasks, we needed to get approval from businesses to do those tasks where we wanted to do them, we needed to make sure that there was a proper mapping of all the tasks so that there was no more than 20 minutes of driving between each task, we needed to drive that route and just double check that it was in fact the time frame. We had to calculate the time and make sure that the volunteers were all there. We had to organize all the volunteers. This, the list just goes on. It was incredibly exhausting. And it was my friend Ashley, Shannon, and I. We all had to do it. And we started the planning for our July event back in the beginning of March. It was single-handedly the most stressful thing I've ever done in my life. Um, but there was one task in particular that made it completely and entirely worth all the stress. We called this the downtown task. What we did was at lunchtime, they were given the roadblock that was to buy ingredients for sandwiches. Once they had made those sandwiches, they needed to go to the downtown east side and hand those sandwiches out to homeless people. And while half the team was handing them out to homeless people, the other half was picking up garbage. Now, one of the team members had told me on the phone that that was one of the scariest things that she'd ever done. Just two days before, there was an eviction notice that went out. So there was a ridiculous number of homeless people there. And some of them were angry, some of them were mean, some of them were nice, some of them were kind. It was, it was a big mess, basically. But at the end of it, it opened the eyes of all of the teammates to realize that, that at, the end of, at the end of the day, at the end of everything that they're doing, that there's people, there's less fortunate. And we wanted them to think about it and to really give back. And, and, we, and we really believe that that did work. That our goal was achieved. Because they came back and that was the task that, that was the most talk. That was the most buzzed about task. And to me, that was the most important one. I know for sure the teams did not have fun doing it. But I know that that's the task that they'll remember for the rest of their lives. Now to me, when everything is said and done, that's what made it worth it, was the downtown task, was the impact that made, that, that it made on all the individuals. Now, this Sunshine Hills version of The Amazing Race was totally different. 2014 was totally different than any other year, 2005 and on. This was the year of new tasks. This was the year of a new organizing committee. This was, an year, uh, this was the year that, that the tasks really pushed the, the teammates outside of their comfort zone, and it wasn't just only fun, that there was an aspect of reality in it. And for me, 
this was the year that I had realized how stressful it was. And it gave me a new respect for people who organize these kinds of things. Because I can tell you that that Saturday afternoon was single-handedly the most stressful five hours of my life. And I can leave you with just one promise. That although it was totally worth it, and although I loved putting the smiles on everybody else's faces, for me, I will never do that again.